you quoted the study i think from from the uk yeah where they said or they found out that if restaurants hotels uh, commercial kitchens invest one pound in 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 measurement in in something that yeah can help to uh, reduce food waste yeah they make a profit uh for approximately seven pounds yeah in a couple of years i think yeah. Do, do you think this is just, this is uh, this is maybe a little bit exaggerated, or or do you think this is possible? I think it's probably well, it's not exaggerated precisely, but it's probably uh, an average because some companies made a lot more money and most made less. But I think it is uh, a profitable investment. Yeah, but you 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 worked in the hospitality industry. Uh, how is it how is it possible that I can um, save uh, money by factor seven? Um, I've I've read similar um, articles between factor three and maybe factor ten. Yeah, so it's you you have to buy less food, you have to prepare, cook less food, and you have to pay for less uh, food waste disposal. So is yeah. there something missing or? No, I think that's the biggest point. I think most restaurants go bankrupt because they throw away too much food. Their inventory is too big and they lose too much of it. Yeah. So finding ways to reduce that is, uh, is huge for the financial uh, side of the restaurant. In one of my last interviews, I interviewed Babak and Nina, two scientists, and, and since then I've uh, still read a lot about um, all-you-can-eat restaurants because this was the topic back then to to reduce food waste in all-you-can-eat restaurants. And I found out that there are already uh, all-you-can-eat restaurants where you don't have to pay for the food to enter the restaurant, but uh, also to you have to pay for everything you waste you you leave yeah. on your plate your plate waste gets weighted and then you have to pay i don't know x euros or dollars per 100 gram of of waste yeah uh, have you have you heard about that or do you know about similar uh um, ways how to avoid food waste well i haven't heard about that uh, specifically i think it's it's clever maybe but i think it's mostly a marketing technique more than anything else because you could also just factor in the waste into the price to begin with you know yeah and then well it's obvious basically <laughs> but yeah i think yeah. It, it's it got people talking about them probably so that's clever and and i don't know i'm curious what you would think um it what effect it would have yeah maybe there are the people on the one side that say okay um yeah, I will eat everything I put on my plate because I don't want yeah. to pay for it twice. Yeah. I, I have to pay the lump sum to get in the restaurant and then I have to pay um, related to my to my food waste. Or others say, yeah, okay, they really want to 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 be sustainable, to save, to, to do something good for the environment. So therefore, I, I should really eat everything and do not waste it. But on the other hand, there are people that say, no, uh, I don't want... Uh, um, I, I want to stay slim. I, I I don't know, and they they don't care if they have leftovers on their plate. Yeah. Um, what do you think, uh, Chen? Why people are they more on this? On which one of the two sides are they? Uh, I think you can't generalize fully, but I think mostly uh, younger generations, Gen Y, Gen Z, are. Uh, quite environmentally conscious so i do think they want to reduce waste so i'm not sure how aware they are how much waste restaurants do produce also the the tactic this particular restaurant used i don't know i mean if you get a lot of plates back that aren't finished instead of making the people pay for it that's one solution, but I think that maybe you're doing something wrong as a restaurant if you get too many plates back unfinished. So that means either your food isn't good enough or more likely you're serving too much of it. 
And I know there are then exceptions, no matter how much you surf, something will always come back by some people. But if you look at the average, usually your plate should be empty, otherwise you're surfing too much. Okay.